Hi, everybody, and welcome. I am Chris Rose. This is Pavel Barber. You know him as a hockey content creator, as a member of the Canadian team when it comes to floorball. And we are ready for an outstanding game between Team Baggage and Wugas. If Wugas wins, they are on to the semifinals. They get a bye. That is also in play if Team Baggage pulls off a victory. The big storyline, the O'Brien brothers, Jimmy and Luke, get to go head-to-head. -head. Jimmy and Luke going head-to-head. -to -head. We got... We got some kids and family in the crowd Yeah, as a lot well. of O'Briens running around here. I saw a kid crying already. He'll yeah. be crying after this for sure, but who will be crying? That's the answer. All right, so let's take you to the Shady Rays starting lineups. And first for Team Wugas, Luke O'Brien had the most shot attempts so far this season in floorball. Corwin McCallum out of Canada. He's a content creator for TSN and Bar Down. He is the only player with multiple goals. Lauren Russell, former employee here at John Boy Media, started her own YouTube channel. And Sales Lucas, Lucas Diversa, spinning it between the pipes. For Team Baggage, Jimmy O'Brien, you know all about him. His former high school line mate in the hockey world, Jeff Krause, a government teacher out of Denver, is back with us. Sam Tasky tallied the first goal of the season. And Jake Storiali will see if he can stand on his head as he plays a little patty cake with his opposite <laughs> number in this one. Let's get it going, of course. We start every game not with a ball drop, but rather a shootout. So let's get this thing rolling today inside the warehouse. The winner of the opening shootout will start on a power play and also start with the ball. Jimmy O'Brien, we saw him score in an opening shootout earlier. What do you expect? Well, he loves to go to the right side, go in slow, and then shoot far side. I doubt he'll mix it up because his goalie definitely was not doing his homework. So I would use the same move. Jimmy against Lucas Diversa. Went oh. high and deflected away. Goalie stayed big, covered that area. Jimmy not happy about that one, but a good shot attempt. So here comes Corwin McCallum. A pair of goals in their first regular season win. I can't tell if his socks are too high or his shoes are too low. It's probably a combination it's, it's of both. It's tough. I'm getting distracted by the calves. Oh, oh what a goal. and Story Ali was as well. So the Woogas will start with a 30-second power play. Thanks to Corwin McCallum. You, you know, you look at him and you're thinking, well, what can this guy do? He looks a little frail. He's yeah, got the high socks. A little string bean. But, you know, in floorball, those skinny, lanky guys are very common. That's that's a floorball body right really? there. Really? Really? Yeah. Is, that's an elite floorball that's body? That's an elite floorball body. Lanky. You don't look like you can really play sports, but then you shock people with your ability. Ooh, this floorball game's pretty good, but you know what might be even better? We are live streaming playoff games. We're all going to be there. They're both Jacks. We're both Joes. We're going to be having fun. We have a live chat. It's a blast. Come through JM Baseball. That's where we're going to be streaming all the biggest playoff games. And man, we're going to have fun. And so are you. And there's Jimmy. Look at that. Back to floorball. We'll see you there. All right, so here we go. Luke O'Brien will start it off. Looks ahead. Tries to find Russell in the corner. Swings it back out to Corwin. 20 seconds left in the opening power play. Jake Storiali with the save. Something he did not have to do very often in their first game. Taking it easy on the penalty kill. They're just going to dump it down. Waste some time. Eight seconds left on the penalty. McCallum, we saw him score from that spot in game one. However, that one goes awry, and that will kill the power play. So Sam Tasky on the floor for the first time, which is big because she is a huge goal scorer for baggage. She was phenomenal in that first game. Gritty, a goal scorer, goes to the net. She just wants to score. Baggage actually dominated in their first game against hook line sinkers, but lost in a shootout statistically and just if you pass the eye test. Baggage was outstanding. They did everything but win the game. Absolutely. They had to feel good with their performance, but sometimes that's the way floorball goes. You don't get the bounces, but they can't uh, change up their game plan too much. Is there something about being maybe too prepared? This is the only team that returned all four of their players from a season ago. They've had massive practices. I feel like they're doing like a midnight madness sort of thing. Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit of overthinking, and maybe that's leading them to think they, they, they have... They have too many expectations on them, who knows, but. Well, Luke O'Brien, who put 
18 shots in their first win. Oh, a great seam pass there from Corwin, almost connected. Krauser uses the boards nicely. Tasky, former field hockey star at the club level at Tampa. Oh, oh nice shot by O'Brien, just misses. Great look for them. That's a prime scoring opportunity just got in that high slot area. He won't miss many of those. Oh, I love it. Jimmy hanging out right in front of his oldest child, James, who's letting out a bellow, saying, Dad, don't leave me. In fact, Dad, you were trying to cheat. You thought it was your ball. Instead, it's Uncle Luke's team's ball. The Lugas will keep it. Oh, oh. look for that backdoor play. Oh, Russell just missed wide of the net. Oh, uh oh, pick. picked up by O'Brien. He's got a shot. Pumped oh. away by his younger bro. The family's going the other way. Oh, oh quick feed. Oh. And O'Brien has a goal. Uncle Luke is going to make his nephew cry. Corwin with a great setup, that floor ball body. And he's got that floor ball mind. I gotta tell you, the I, Wooga's theme song is I growing love, on me a little bit. This is my favorite one. Yeah. It is. It's good. It's good. They've got the classiest uniforms, they've got a killer song, and they play pretty good floorball. They do. I'm telling you, they're set up. They got those backdoor plays, overload plays. They know what they're doing out there. Wooga's with a 1 0 lead halfway through the first period. Nice little flop shot picked off by Corwin. He'll circle back there. Look at this. This is a great floorball play. You don't see what you like, take it back, regroup. Discipline. Discipline. Russell can't handle it. Krauser, backhanded pass. Oh. Uh oh, and O'Brien almost loses it. Luke O'Brien with his second tally of the regular season is giving the Wugas a 1 0 lead. Russell loses it again. Krauser. O'Brien with the long pass intercepted. Tasky, nobody home. Yeah, you got to be careful on those shots there. You really want to look for good quality shots. Don't just force everything to the net. You want to possess it a little bit, get a better quality shot opportunity there. James trying to wrap it around, uses the boards nicely. Trying to poke it ahead to Tasky, and it's poked away by McCallum instead. O'Brien oh, with a shot, Story Alley, the chest save and a beauty. That away, Jake. Great chest there. Goalie stand big, big save. Krauser, oh, oh it trickles oh, in, no, it is in. No. Referee Kevin says it is in. Well, I, think, I do not think that was in. Wait a second, what does that mean? Oh, he wants to replay it because he's got no fucking clue what happened. What are we doing here? Uh, you have a microphone on you. Yeah. yeah. All right, referee Dan, what's going on here? Kevin calls a good goal, but he wants to double check on replay. Oh, so he's not sure of his call. Uh, yeah, but he was pretty emphatic when he made the call, well, so this kind of confuses me. Yeah, but it, the, I didn't know if he was calling it or no. Or no, he was calling it yes, good goal. Okay. He called it about 20 times, okay. and now he's unsure of himself. <laughs> now he's unsure of himself. <laughs> now, remember here, the ball has to fully cross the line. There cannot well, be any part of the ball look, across the line. What do you think? From this view, it absolutely looks like it goes in. It has to be conclusively not. That's that a good goal. That is a goal. good goal. Baggage has tied it up with a buck 33 to go in the first. I'll say the ref's got better eyes than me. Yep. I thought that was not in. Hey, Kevin. Good job. Good job, Kevin. Come here, Kev. All right, now get back to work. Keep your yeah. eyes on the floor. Yeah. Okay, good. Here we go. O'Brien, that ball gets flicked away. It will remain Wooga's ball in the corner. Now look at how they set up. They like to put one back door, and then they have one up the boards there. Yep. Ball shot away and deflected That's off of O'Brien's stick. So again, Luke O'Brien will set something up. Closing in on the wall. Oh, oh. That was pretty. There goes Jimmy. Oh, he just oh, missed the post wide. Great shot, just missed far side, had a good look there. Under a minute to go in this opening period. Move it. Corwin sends it on over to Luke O'Brien, back to McCallum. Taking his time. That's a lengthy shot and out of bounds. I told him to take long range shots before the game. 
and he has taken them. Why? Well, just because this floor is so small. So think about where the blue line would be in hockey. You're, you're pretty close to the net almost no matter where you are on this pitch. And he's got a good shot. So. Okay, good. Kraus over to Jimmy O'Brien. Checked by his younger brother. Oh, yeah. Take him out, Luke. Let's go. That'll be baggage ball. Hey, Luke. Got... Give him an elbow. Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tasky shot hits the back of the net. And that will do it for the first period of play. High energy stuff we just saw. High energy stuff. The Wugas up 1-0, seemingly controlling the play, but great plays from Baggage as well. So we are tied at one through the first five minutes. Let's see how Team Baggage is doing. They're hanging out with our Kelsey Winger. First, Jimmy, I want to talk to you first. Just how's the consultation level for you with uh, your whole family here? It seems like... Little James keeps crying every single time you go within five feet away from him. He didn't come to see me play. He came to see me sit on the stands, which is disappointing in him. I thought he was going to want to see me play. So we'll talk about it tonight. Got it, got it. Jeff, you had the goal for you guys. Yeah. Some controversy around that goal. Why are you? Why did you think that it should have counted? And I know you're glad it did. I feel like I saw the, the net flutter behind him, so I was pretty sure of it. They wanted to go to replay and uh, check it out, but... We knew it's part of our game plan, get shots on and hard shots at that, and so we'll shoot right through them if we need to. And a custom helmet for you, Jake. Is this new or something that we've been wearing? So this, this yesterday, or last, yesterday's games, last year, um, my guy Lucian made this. He makes like judges cleats and stuff, and yeah, it's like the coolest thing I own. Coolest thing you own. Good luck in the second period, guys. By the way, don't let that sneak past you. Did you hear Jake? He said, yeah, the dude makes Aaron Judge's cleats. Yeah. And he makes, that's how he sells it. Yeah. Did you know that I make uh, goalie helmets for Jake Storiali? I also make cleats for Aaron Judge. Yeah, yeah, easy easy on the flex there, bud. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey, hanging out with Woogas. What do we got? Down here with Wooga Wooga now. Wooga. Wooga. Okay, for you guys, you exit the first period with a tie. What's your strategy going to be in the second period to hopefully put up the offensive storm you guys did yesterday? I think we just got to get the juices flowing in the offensive zone a little bit, start getting a little more fluid, start moving it around a little more passing. Defensively, I feel pretty good. So I think we're just like a few passes away from getting better looks on net. But we're getting spaces to shoot. I don't know. Not that bad. What are the juices he's talking about? Uh, you know, we just weren't ready for this early morning matchup. You know, we, yesterday we had the last one of the day. We, we got to wake up here. So, no, we don't know exactly what the juices are? They're whatever juice you want to think they are. Great. Yeah. Sounds like a hangover problem to me. I, I want to go back to uh, the O'Brien family because I think they're having a freaking reunion here. I mean, the entire clan. Uh, Jimmy and Luke's parents are here. Uh, there's Jimmy's uh, amazing bride, Katie. Uh, you know, his nephews are here a niece is here Courtney of course who's an executive here is here with her husband so I mean it's the entire family uh, that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on both these O'Briens absolutely it's just a heart-wrenching story you know when you see families go at it like this yes. this is the type of stuff that can break a family up we interrupt the programming to tell you about our merch store whoa merch shop.johnboymedia.com you can get regular John Boy Media stuff or you can get warehouse game stuff, MLB PA license stuff like Otani and other players. Oh, we got ice. I own this shirt. I haven't worn it yet because it's too hot for cotton for me. This shirt's a nice one too. Shop.johnboymedia.com. Oh, I blew it. I was supposed to throw and wrap it around. So here we go. Uh, team Baggage will start with the ball at the beginning of the second period. Once again, Wugas win. They get a bye. They are off automatically to the semifinals. Still in play for Team Baggage, but one of the tiebreakers would be goals allowed. So they probably can't allow another one if they want to get that bye. Uh-oh, oh, seeking a bye. Tasky oh. almost gets the ball in the net as she says bye-bye to Lauren Russell on that one. We have a whistle by referee Dan. What's going on? Yeah, here? she came over the stick, just on top of the stick, so it'll be a free hit for baggage. And that means that it's like a direct kick on goal in soccer, right? Exactly. So they'll have to back up a few meters here in front of the net, form a wall. Oh, I love it that we're using meters. Yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. So sorry. awesome. Sorry, uh, 10 miles in uh, your whatever the <laughs> hell you guys use. Uh, a direct oh. shot turned away by Diversa. Oh, good God. Look at the aggressiveness by both Tasky and Luke O'Brien. Luke taking no prisoners. Looks Looked like an axe 
chopper out there. Is that legal? Uh, it, 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 I guess it was legal. Oh, uh, look at this. And Tasky fights back. Oh. Krauser from uh, midcourt, although it looked like he had a breakaway. Break I probably would have ran in there. Maybe he's out of breath. Corwin McCallum taking his time, trying to set up the play. Looking, looking, looking. Krauser cuts him off nicely. Look at Krauser. Oh, oh. good feed. Oh, oh. backhander's a goal. The nah. second one of the day for Luke O'Brien giving him a league best three so far this year. Let's see as he breaks the heart of his nephew yet again. They're not even dancing to the theme. Well, they're unsure because this one looked like it was post, post out. It happened pretty quickly, so I don't know if they're 100% certain it went in yet. Well, let's take another look. I mean, they want to look. Jake they Storiali look wants us to look at the replay. And sideline says it went post post. What do you oh, think? That's uh, the back that's of the in. net. That's in. That's oh. post GoPro and out. I mean, that's give goal. it a look here, guys. That's in. That's the back of the net. Uh, it's the most obvious goal I've ever seen. I don't know why this is even a discussion. Oh, Ball deflected block. at one O'Brien to another. Like the brother on brother matchup. They're guarding each other here, not letting each other have much. Did you play against your brother in this sport? Not in this sport. He said uh, this sport, he actually doesn't know what the sport is. Oh. So he uh, wouldn't play me in it. Oh, oh, nice quick shot by Luke O'Brien, turned away by Storiali. Uh oh, Krauser looks up, loses it, reclaims it. Nice shot on oh, Diversity. Oh, Tasky. just turned away. It's so hard to shoot backhands in this sport. If she was comfortable on it, it might have been quicker, but probably a good idea to go back to the forehand as it's more comfortable for most people. Wow, she shot that right over the net. That wasn't even deflected. No, she just shoveled that high. Wanted to get over if the goalie was diving, I think. Oh, Corwin, last man back trying to move. Works out, spins, he'll rip this. Oh, just oh. wide. That was a good little move. That was a good little move. Yeah. It looks like I am heading on to the oh, pitch. Oh, here we go. I forgot I was allowed to play. That's right, it's time yet again for the Pavel play. Hey, you've only got one goal so far. I believe, come here. Let's go, let's go. I don't have a rooting interest. I just love my broadcast partner. That's what I do. We are a team. I am rooting for him. All right, strategy on the Pavel play here for you guys. Do you want strategy? You just want to try and get it to you. Pavel half court and let Pavel go. Get out of his way. Mighty Ducks thing again. Shot went off the post. Time. Just make sure you guys are options because I'm definitely going to get covered. So if you guys are open, I'm just going to pass it to you. I'll try and be in the middle with the ball, but I'll be looking for you guys. So you can walk up and create a shot. All right. Good luck, guys. All right, so here we go. Uh, Pavel will join Team Baggage for 30 seconds. They'll have a four-on-three power play. You can only use this once, and it has to be done in the first two periods. Here we go. We are underway. Pavel. Oh, deflected by Luke O'Brien. And here comes Pavel. Oh, he's trying to work it behind the net against McCallum. Trying to dish. Oh! The net's off its moorings. What the hell's happening? O'Brien with a lengthy shot gets turned away. 15 seconds left in the Pavel play. Look at Luke O'Brien working in the corner like a madman. Older brother Jimmy swipes it away. Four seconds left in the Pavel play. Tries to swing it back to Pavel, he does not. And that'll do it. Nice job by Wuga's killing it. Storiali corrals it. Get back up here, Pavel. Nice shot by Krauser. He gets stoned. Jimmy back to Kraus, tap, no good to Tasky. I thought they uh, missed you on an opportunity. Yeah, I thought Kraus was going to give me that. He Whoa. just fired it. Look at this, Jimmy oh. with the swipe turned away by Diversa. What nice a work. Stop. Lucas Diversa has done a great job. His improvement from last season to this year is oh. monumental. Oh. Wide open and Russell misses it. She just had her blade way too far angled, like a shovel there. She flattens that out. That's in. Lauren Russell, a very good athlete, training for the New York City Marathon. Ooh. Oh! I like this. They're just looking to shoot. Nothing too fancy. Shots on net from distance will work. 
90 seconds to go in the second, Kels. And guys, something we discussed earlier, Jemmy is using his magic stick today. He used it to kill a centipede earlier in the day. Oh. He believes it's going to bring him some extra powers. Killed it in the kitchen, massive centipede with that stick. Thank you very much, Kelsey. I'm not so sure that that's uh, up to health codes here in the building, but then again, what is? Tasky with a just over a minute to go from distance, no good. Poked away and out of bounds. And Lucas Diversa, there we go. oh, call it for the power play. All right, one minute left. Are we gonna do this? Come on, man, let's go, let's go. Pavo, teams have scored just one time with him on the floor so far. One for seven on the Pavo play. All right, you guys saw the Pavel play just not work out for Team Baggage. What's your strategy here? I think we got to get this guy space, whoever we can. Gus. You had some good chances yesterday for us. I think we do the same thing, get you down there, get you the ball, and let you do your thing. We were close. Dahl made some good saves. So, well, someone will take it up. We'll try to dish to you as soon as we can. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good luck, guys. All right, so here we go. Uh, Wugas with a one-goal lead. And boy, if they connect on the Pavel play, they could almost be tasting their spot in the semifinals. That sounded disgusting, by the way. Here we go. Pavel working in midcourt, swings it over to Luke O'Brien. Works the middle shot just a little high by McCallum and out of bounds. Clock is ticking. Team baggage, they'll just take their time. And Jimmy clears it wisely. Diversa gets it on over to McCallum. One more shot for the Pavel play. Oh, poor pass. Wrapped it from midcourt, no good. And that'll do it for the Pavel play. Get back up here to your day job. Oh, Tasky with the spin move, no good. Krauser in front, nobody home. Less than 30 to go here in the second period. Tasky can't get the shot off. Flips it ahead. Oh. Russell in the corner working against Jimmy. Ball poked away, under 10 to go. One more shot for Baggage, Add Kraus down the floor. Oh. And that'll do it for hey. two periods of play. Give the goalie credit there, he, he didn't play it with the hands there, that would have been a free hit last minute because he played it to his own guy. Oh. He's learning. Oh yeah, you can't corral it. Yeah, he's you learning. can just touch it, right? Yeah, okay. learning the rules. All right, so what happened there on the, uh, explain the difference between the two Pavel plays that we saw. Did you get enough opportunity there? Yeah, I mean, on the first one, uh, I think with, the, uh, with baggage there, uh, I want the ball up in the middle more, so when they're running with it deep, I'm just trying to get it up in the middle there so we can kind of set up a little bit. Uh, second one, we just missed our first opportunity and right away that's 15 seconds lost. So when you miss the net, I think it's pretty much over. Yeah. They do that, they dump it down, there's another five seconds. So you gotta make use of your one shot, one opportunity. You know, Eminem, great song. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks mom, spaghetti. Let's check in with Kelsey. She's hanging out with baggage. Football season is in full swing and we're teaming up with DraftKings to help customers get closer to the action. So check out DraftKings Parlay, same game parlays, and SGPXs. So I'm guessing the same game parlay X. And this football season, DraftKings is offering early win tokens. EWT PAX is in here. Kelsey, tell the people what that means. Kelsey, not PAX. Customers who opt in are going to receive an early win token to use for a pregame money line bet on an eligible NFL game. If your team goes up by 7, 10, or more points, your bet wins, baby. So download the DraftKings app now. Use promo code FLOORBALL when you do. That's promo code FLOORBALL. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this tournament. You're going to use that as a fan? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Jimmy, that was a heck of a job. I got to be honest with you. I think you're, uh, you should be very, very, very proud. Kelsey, are you standing by with the O'Brien family? Yes, we want to get the doggone honest truth. You have both of your sons battling it out. You're asked this all the time. Who's the favorite? There is no favorite, they're both the best, but Luke does have a good 10 years on Jimmy, so I'm gonna give Jimmy a little handicap for that. Okay. Really, really good. Who's the most athletic? They're both really, really, really good. Those are some mom answers right hey, there. Let's go, let's, I want her, uh, we have to nail her down for an answer here. It's okay to say Luke. Chris Rose wants an answer, who's the most athletic? Um, Ike? He's over there. My grandson, James. 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 <laughs> wow, is she is good at this. Well baby played. James. Hi, oh, look at that. Look at baby James crying his eyes out. Oh, oh my gosh. Just He's been crying the whole time. It's unbelievable. Well, play. you know why? 
Yeah. Because Dad, how many how many shots does he have? He has 24 shots, shot attempts, seven on goal, which uh, those are two different stats, and he hasn't scored yet. Yeah, that's enough to make your kid cry. And yeah. It's definitely not his fault, so. Yep. Oh, look at this. The Woogas, they are five minutes from a semifinal berth. This is a team that was talking shit after just one period of play in the regular season. Five minutes to go in the regular season finale for Woogas and Baggage. That ball's out of play. Ball pushes it down low, no one there. Baggage will pick it up. Couple turnovers to start this third. You want to possess the ball. Over to Jimmy, former line mates in high school. They were known as the energy line back in the day. They need a little bit of that to avoid a Ooh. winless regular season. In, That's play on. In, in, play, That's play, play on. Play on. It hits the side stanchion. That is in play. Wow, okay. Didn't know that, and neither did most of the players. No, they did not. Yep. Oh, O'Brien, oh. great save by Storiali. Oh, just oh no, throw he gets it, it away. Russell can't capitalize. Corwin, no. O'Brien, no. Krauser, yes. Oh, no. McCallum. Oh, has it blocked by Tasky. Nice job. Baggage having a tough time getting it out of their own zone. Okay. Kicked away by Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy's going to want to look up top here. He's definitely not. <laughs> Trying to, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Just throws it right back to him. Probably not the wisest play. McCallum oh. backhanded. Oh. oh, Luke O'Brien with yet another goal. Corwin, another elite assist. That floor ball body and mind. They're hooking up for another tally. By the way, is that a hat trick for Luke O'Brien? That's a hat trick. We got. For... We must have a sleepy crowd. I don't see one damn hat on the floor. Yeah, a lot of cheap guys in the crowd. Uh, You'll I get see... them back, by the way. Yeah, you will get I mean, them geez. back. It's not like there's 18,000 people in here. We can't find a hat for yeah. your head. I did see Baggage talking to the ref. Not sure about what, but I think they slipped him $5 under the table there. See if a camera got that. So, by the way, it is time right now for our DraftKings stat of the day. And, yeah, it might be a little bit about Luke O'Brien, but let's focus on the other Luke. Lucas DeVersa sales. Lucas, last year, a save percentage that was actually the worst of the six goalies during the regular season. He is now tops around at more than 88%. Lucas DeVersa, you are our DraftKings stat of the day. What a turnaround for the kid. Probably helps to have this team in front of him. They're playing great. Wow, you keep wanting to take uh, some bouquets away from Lucas Diversa. I mean, yeah, sorry, he's doing it all himself. So baggage has got to get it going. Next three minutes and forty seconds, or they're staring at a winless regular season. Can't believe it. They will be very disappointed if they lose this one. Ball sails out of bounds. It'll be baggage ball off the Woogas. Oh yeah, that's a straight shot right there. Oh. Caught him sleeping. McCallum knocks it away. Oh. That long shot is a goner. Corwin's had a lot of looks. He's sent a lot of wide, but he's taken good shot opportunities. Baggage, what do you do to get out of this two goal deficit? It, they got a, lot, got a bit more movement off the ball and just stop hope passing. Hope passing when you just throw it to an empty space, hoping it'll get to someone. Take a look, make a safe pass, possess it if you don't have anything. Under three minutes to go, the Woogas will be perfectly content to kill some There's time here with a lengthy pass like that. Yep. So you want to do stretch the field, get someone deep. Tasky from the right side with a long shot, no good. Diversa taking his time. Sends it out to Corwin McCallum. He's got one back door there. There good she is. pass in oh. front, and Lauren Russell whips. Good look. Russell's had a lot of opportunities, putting herself in great spots. Krauser cut off nicely by McKenna. I'll tell you, Corwin is all over oh, the place. Krauser. Oh, open oh, shot, and Tasky gets it. 
A great feed from Krause who had wrapped it around the net and Baggage is back within a goal. That's an effort goal. Krause heavy on the forecheck, steals it and then pass it out front. That, of course, the theme to the Baggage Show. So now with 2.17 to go, Baggage back within one. You could feel the energy back inside this building. They needed that, and two minutes is a lot of time in this small area game. They this, don't need to panic. This isn't the house that Jimmy and Jake built, but it is the one that they paid for, <laughs> and they are trying to get a W. Jimmy, a little bit in his head today. You want to stay cool. Cooler heads prevail, I heard. I think it's a saying. All right, under two minutes to go. Clock will stop when the ball is out of bounds from here on out. Oh, Krause, another good forecheck. Oh. Another turnover. O'Brien, shot no oh, good. Blocked, blocked by his younger brother, Luke, who oh. now whisks it up the floor. Oh, oh right off of the mask of huge Jake save. Storiali. A huge save. By the way, did you know that the same guy who created Aaron Judge's cleats also that, did Jake yeah, Storiali? Yeah, I heard that. He told me that I once. know. I read it. That's on, pretty unbelievable. I saw it on TMZ. It's remarkable. Yeah, everyone's talking about it. Yep. And Jake wisely calls a timeout with 100 seconds to go. Yeah, they want to cool it down a little bit. A little bit of pinball going on here. All right, so what's the strategy? Kelsey. They have it, and they're just trying to kill time. Got to play a ladder where... One of you two is on him, forcing him to cough it up. Someone in the middle and someone back. And the person in the middle, be ready for them to cough that up because we're going to get quick turnovers. If they continue to play kill and passive, just make them cough it up on the boards, and we got to be a little spread. One on the blue line and one in the middle. Rosie, back to you. Thank you, Kels. Did you hear he said play like a ladder? They're going for the 1-1-1 one, one, one formation. Usually you don't do that, but... I'm excited to see this. Well, I mean, is it smart, though, when you're down a goal with 100 picks left or no? I don't think, I think that you got to press them, but 1-1-1, one, 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 it's going to depend how the Woogas form on their offense, got right? Got it. So. All right, here we go. Get someone deep. Flips it ahead. Nice body ball by McCallum. Luke O'Brien has the shot turned away. Jimmy's all over him. There McCallum it is. from, oh, there it is. court, not good. What good a remarkable shot. save by Storiali. I don't think he touched that. I think that was all crossbar, but uh, he'll he'll take the save. Sorry, I'm just trying to butter up the bosses. My bad. Closing in on the one-minute mark. Corwin sends it on over to Luke O'Brien. O'Brien ahead, picks off by the elder brother. Back in, no! Are you kidding me? Jimmy has scored. Steals it away from his younger brother and says, listen, little bro. Get your ass back to your room. And don't forget, I own this bucket company on top of that. We are tied at three. Holy shit, you don't see backhands much in this sport, but he ripped one with 106 left to tie this up. And look at the madness of Jake Storiali firing up the crowd with the old, hey, hey, hey. Should he be doing that in a tie game with a minute left? Absolutely, get this crowd on your side, get the energy. I have no idea who this crowd's rooting for, but they're definitely pulling for him now. I bet you baby James is so proud of Papa. His little sister, Claire, they've gotta be enjoying this. The Wugas call timeout. They are shaken and stirred, and they are standing by with Kelsey. All right, guys, that was a really emotional goal by Jimmy there. You have about a minute and six to respond. What will the game plan be? Well, that was our mistake. Nothing to them. I fucked up. I gave it to Jimmy right down there. So we're just going to make sure that doesn't happen again. Also, we were an inch away from going up two goals on them a second ago. Corwin just put off the post. So I'm not worried. We've had our chances. Just going to regroup a little bit and close it out in a minute. All right, here we go. A minute, six seconds at a 3-3 game. Flop shot. Russell having trouble with that, trying to corral it. Jimmy O'Brien. All three members of Baggage have now scored. Only team in which that has happened so far this season. Oh, Fit. oh no, you ball in front. That. Ball in front. Oh, bad wow. bounce. That was nearly disastrous for Baggage. O'Brien can't quite corral the ball. He's got to be tired. That was a hefty oh, run. Oh, long shot by Luke. No good. Krauser. Closing in on 30 ticks left. O'Brien sends it back to Kraus. Long shot. And Cassie. Did she oh, touch it with oh her no. hand? 
High stick on Sam. What? Yeah, it was a high stick. You slashed her Are with the her? stomach. Yeah. yeah, you slashed her right in the chest. Oh, no. Oh, Tasky. That is the third boo-boo on Sam Tasky in two games. And this one comes with 27.6 left. That's Sam Tasky, 30 seconds for slashing. Wow, you just called her first and last name like she did yeah. something wrong in class. Yeah. <laughs> well, like she's done something Damn. wrong three times here. Referee Dan, a true disciplinarian. Yeah, did she? I didn't see that. Was she trying to tip and she just whacked her right in the midsection? Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's now three on two. What do you do if you're the Woogas offensively? Well, you gotta, you gotta not rush it. You do have 28 seconds. Don't force anything. I would just work it around and look for that cross, cross ice pass or cross whatever this floor is called. Yeah, pass. Uh, floor is fine. Floor, yeah. I play. I don't want to get too I technical. Probably know that, yeah, that's all right. Are you telling me you're a fraud? That you, you this is like the first time you've seen floorball. Yeah, I don't know how you guys hired me. Like, wait a second, they're paying you? Oh, we don't get paid. Oh shit. Do you get paid? No comment. Let's go. I'm watching the game. Okay. So we'll see if Baggage can kill off this penalty or the Woogas. If they score a goal, they're off to the semis. Well, interesting formation. They're just leaving her alone in front of the net. Yeah, Lauren Russell all by herself. And then just playing man yeah, on man. Nice job by Jakey. Jakey just holding it a little bit. Waste some time. He'll dump this down. 15 seconds left. Kraus clears it. Diversa try to get his team one more shot. McCallum. Winds oh. up and blasts one from half court. Ball the way down. Three. And for, whoa. Oh. Holy smokes. I couldn't believe that one actually went on goal. You never know. Then the smoke or just rip it on the net. But we're tied. And we're going into a, what is it after a, a tie? Shootout. A shootout. shootout. Wow. Super exciting stuff there in the third period. Jimmy O'Brien comes up big time for the first time in this tournament. Kelsey Wingard standing by with a guy who's about to face a massive amount of pressure. Really big moment for you. Jimmy scored the goal to tie it. Now you have to come through and the goal. How are you feeling confident? The whole John Boy Media thing. I feel good. I feel good. I think, uh, you know, me and Lucas have very different goaltending styles. Um, we got this. What is your goaltending style? Her baggage. Sloth. <laughs> so great. You are, you do look like a sloth. Jake said you guys have very different goalie strategies here. He said that he's a sloth. What is your goaltending strategy? Um, Joe's all year last year called me a worm. I got, I got to be as wormy as possible in that. All right, so Rosie, you taking a worm or a sloth? Uh, I'm going to leave that to the expert. What do you want to be in this sport? Pavel, worm well, or sloth, sloth? Sloths are real slow, but they're big. A worm is very small. Uh, by the way, not exactly a speedster either. Not a speedster either. Very true. Yeah. Thanks. This guy watches Animal Planet. I'll go with the sloth. By the way, can you see how much I'm sweating through this shirt? Yeah, that is actually I impressive. haven't even played. I haven't even played. I thought you spilled water. That's no, People are going to think I pissed myself. Yeah. I didn't. All right? I, this is just the... Yeah, I'm looking at the forehead. I'm just super excited. You know, when I jump up and down and call a game, that's my cardio yeah. for yeah. the day. Yeah, I feel you. Get yeah. that Apple Watch going. Uh, I do have it. I'm trying to get my steps here. Yeah, it's actually uh, telling you to see a doctor. <laughs> By the way, I do have Dr. Kim, do my you? cardiologist in it. Shout out, Dr. Kim. Thank you for keeping me alive. First time ever that Lucas Diversa will face a shootout post-game. Of course, he has experience with it pre-game. Here we go. All three shooters will get their chance. And if we're tied after that, the goalies get to go against one another. Tasky fresh out of the box. She's pissed. Hey! And that that'll make up for it. Oh, look at her. Not even a smile from Tasky. No. Love the intensity. The only player here with multiple penalties. All business Tasky. And now we got Corwin coming up to the plate. He went backhand earlier on in the game to win possession for his team. Will he go there again against the 80% save percentage goalie? The creator from far down on TSN. And got it! He fakes the backhand. I, I think he thought he was going to do the same move. Corwin. He's, he's good. He's good. He now good. Floor ball body. This guy's built for the sport, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. Okay. Jimmy O'Brien 
getting second dibs for Baggage. Jimmy O'Brien tied this game up late. He's got all the momentum on his side, but he's got all the pressure too. What'll he do? Oh, too oh, high! Just rips it high. Not sure how high that went over. He loves that shot, and he's usually very pinpoint accurate with it. Just missed there. So let's see. Will the Wugas go with Jimmy's younger brother, Luke, who's got the hat trick today? No, they will go with Lauren Russell in this spot, looking for her first tally. Lauren had a lot of opportunities today to score. She deserves oh! one, and she get one! Wow! What a rip! Outweights the goalie, rips it over. Woo! All right! Oh, yeah, riding the pony. She's feeling it. So now it's up to Jeff Krause, the longtime friend of Jimmy O'Brien. Jeff Krause, one of the best four checkers on this team, the heart and soul of this team. Has to hit this to keep baggage alive. And, and he does. does! Catches the goal. He must have been cheating there. He saw something he liked and ripped it home. We're going to a third frame here. Oh, boy. It has come down to the man who has the first hat trick of the season. Luke O'Brien against the co-founder of John Boy Media, Jake Storiali. All those goals mean nothing if he doesn't score here. But who do you want more than this guy? Oh, oh he misses! No. And we will go to a goalie shootout. How fantastic is this? This game is unbelievable. We get to see the goalies go here. I gotta be honest. Luke might have prevented the Wugas from moving on to the semis. However, he might have just saved his job. He might have just saved it. Let's see, is, does this guy have hands? I've never seen him hold a stick. Looks like he's trying to figure it out now. Might be too late to figure it out now, but we'll see. Well, he did win a shootout last year, goalie on goalie. Oh, oh DeVersa turns it away. Dives. What a save, unbelievable. Wow. So now it's up to Lucas Diversa. Just came up with a critical save. Let's see what he's got. This has to be the most demoralizing thing when a, an opposing team goalie scores on you, and then it's a game winner. This could be huge for the kid. Diversa for a berth in the semifinals. Oh, oh, the flip shot is no good. Little off-speed action. Not sure if he meant for it to be off-speed, but just missed. They're chanting Pavel's name. <laughs> they want you to get involved in the shootout. I'm not sure how that would work. I would have to shoot for both teams. That'd be pretty fun. I got to be honest with you. Hey. I, I don't hate it. I'm down. I guess it would be fair. Instead, we're just gonna continue on, roll it back to the top. I'm getting absolutely shafted this tournament, just by the way. Yeah. Not getting enough TV but time. Look, here's the problem. Let's be honest. If you kept shooting, we would never stop the shootout. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Tasky scored just moments ago in the shootout. She goes forehand again. Oh, Diversa! Diversa wow. with the save. It's now back to Corwin McCallum. Corwin McCallum, two for two today in the shootout. He's used both forehand and backhand. What's he gonna do here? Will he just shoot? Will he mix it up? Oh. The oh. Wugas oh. are off to the semifinals! What was that? He, he looked like he mishandled that. Even after he scored, he was like, uh. Baggage is stunned. They go winless in the regular season and will have the long way home if they are indeed able to hang their first ever banner in the warehouse. Wow. You're not gonna really see that on any highlight reels, but it gets the job done. Corwin three for three, unstoppable in the shootout today. Another remarkable game as the Wugas improved to two and oh. Baggage falls to O oh and two. For Kelsey Wingert, and Pavel Barber. I am Chris Rose. We will see you next time here, Floorball 2023.